All right, how do you keep track of your children? A lot of kids have cell phones, but kids uh, aren't always great about checking in with their parents. Yeah, but what if, uh, if your kid doesn't have a cell phone? Mm -hmm. Well, some dads in the woodlands say they found a way to help parents keep track of kids in the neighborhood. And it also provides helpful, helpful information rather to parents during playdates. Jessica Borg now live with more on how this technology works. Jessica. Good afternoon, guys. Yeah, the app is called Safe Subs. It's free to download. It's Safe Subs as in safe subdivisions. It lets parents know when their kid has gone to a neighbor's house to play and that they've gotten there safely. It also has information about allergies and curfews. Now, the app's creator says it's mostly for kids in elementary and middle schools, but he hopes it catches on around the country. Don't throw trash on the ground. It's a delicate balance for most parents, including Tomball mom Jamie Zverneman. I have a 10 year old, an 8 year old, and a 3 year old. Giving older kids a bit of freedom, but also keeping a close eye on who they're with and where they're headed. My 10 year old is just now getting to the age where we're letting her go to friends' houses in the neighborhood. And that. What about a way for her friend's parents, for example, to check her in online, letting you know she got there safely? It was an idea brewing in the minds of Chris Ross and two other dads for nearly two years. A few weeks ago, the Woodlands father created the Safe Subs app for parents like himself. They want to let their child roam, but they kind of want to, you know, know where their, their child's at. So people are solving this many different ways with GPS trackers and smart watches and cell phones. And but Ross wasn't ready to give his nine-year-old son a phone. Instead, he says parents can do the talking in a safe subs community. A parent can create an invitation-only hub or join an existing one. This is how the app works, right? I go to check-in. Let's say Kim comes over. I select Kim. I check Kim into my house. And Kim's parents receive an alert that she's there. When they want her home, they press send home. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to communicate between parents on play dates. Dad Trevor Salo worries, though, about child predators who might try to join. Yeah, you never know. Um, it's definitely concerning. Ross says when someone new joins, they have to register a child and provide cell phone confirmation. Everyone in the group is made aware someone new has joined. Addresses aren't shared until you've checked a child into your home. Now, the app has about 2,000 users so far. Again, it is free to download, and Ross says he's looking for feedback from parents, which you can give them on the website. We are live this afternoon in the Woodlands. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News. Jason Reka. All right, sounds like a good app. Thanks, Jess. And hey, parents or grandparents, if you're watching at home and you're interested in trying the Safe Subs app, you can find it in the App Store. And as Jess mentioned, it is free to download.